My name is uh, Eric Cedillo, and I'm an attorney here in Dallas. I'm also the uh, uh, um, president uh, currently, or the immediate past president, March of the Polls. And I have the uh, unique opportunity to be the national legal advisor to the League of United Latin American Citizens. And I'm a clinical professor of law at uh, the SMU Dedman School of Law. I first voted back in uh, 1988 in the uh, George Bush, uh, Michael Dukakis, uh, back and forth. Uh, just thinking about it in anticipation of this, it, it just harkened back to why it was that I voted. And I was probably, probably turned 19. Uh, I don't believe I voted when I was 18. Uh, the first election for me probably was that presidential election. My goodness, voting is incredibly important. It's it's truly one of the uh, most important things that we can do as as citizenry uh, in the United States, and I mean that wholeheartedly. Uh, back when I was 18, 19 years old, I certainly didn't understand that. But as I've gotten older and I've realized just everything that that uh, comes from voting, even when you know the person that we're voting for doesn't necessarily win. Just the impact that it has in in certain groups, especially young people. You know, the unfortunate thing about young people is that we don't vote. They don't vote in the same numbers as older folks. And that just leads to an incredible disparity between uh, what is going on in our country when people over the age of 65 are voting in three times the numbers of young people. We see, you know, what's happening to the country immediately, but we don't have the the foresight that that young people bring to bear uh, that is incredibly important, and, and we need to maintain that balance. Otherwise, we lose sight as a country, and bad things happen. In all honesty, uh, when young people realize the importance of, of housing, when they realize the importance of, you know, having the opportunity to afford the necessary, you know. Uh, legal prescriptions that they need and they can't afford them. When uh, young people uh, are paying, you know, hundreds of thousands of dollars to get into college or attend college, all those issues are incredibly important. And they don't realize that simply by voting and becoming part of the process that they can change the way in which those things are implemented. And that is the, the unfortunately, the biggest travesty that we see is the exclusion that we've seen over the last few years of young people uh, in the ballot. Those who would maintain the status quo uh, are losing a huge segment of our voting population. And uh, that's really a problem. I probably got another 20 years uh, to live. I know my children and grandchildren will be flourishing in 50 years. And I hope this world, this country is is still where it is on, on an upward trajectory, but it won't be if, if young people don't become part of the solution of what America is to become. And I, and I really, I truly believe that. Just the experiences that I've had with respect to uh, seeing candidates come up and leave and make promises that are just never realized, uh, to have young people just be disheartened by what is happening in this country when realistically, if they turned out in the numbers that they're capable of doing, uh, we could change this country overnight. So uh, that's why voting, I think, is so important, but especially among young people. Health heritage month is, is incredibly important. We have, in this country, uh, as Hispanics, as Latinos, we've lost sight of the reality of our contributions, our past contributions to this country. They're immense, they're huge. When I was in college, I had the opportunity to uh, do a little thing for an organization that asked me to go in and, and look at some of the contributions that were made uh, by Latinos. And uh, I was amazed. I, I had no idea of the numbers of contributions that were done and, and had been done by Hispanics, by Latinos. And uh, I would hope that more people would understand that importance. So it's, it's critically important that people, especially young people, understand the contributions that we've, we've given to this country. Uh, I, I was recently on Ancestry.com, uh, and, and I've come to the realization that I'm, I'm a ninth generation uh, here in this area in Texas. And, uh, you know, our, our Spanish influence, our indigenous influence has been historic. And the unfortunate byproduct of, of history is that the, uh, the tellers of history are those currently in power. And we lose sight of the fact that, uh, that contributions made are highlighted you know, in some ways, unevenly. Uh, 
and Latinos have had all of these contributions to our society and we don't realize it. And because of that, I think there's a continuous you know, sense that, uh, that we're not really part of, of what is going on in this country. We're kind of a, a separate world into ourselves in many ways. And that's really unfortunate. Uh, if more people would understand all of the contributions that uh, Latinos and Hispanics have contributed to our society, I think we'd have a, a different sense of who we are and our place uh, in this world. And it all ties into that electoral process. Once we come to the realization of our contributions, our position here in the United States, we'll come to realize the importance of voting and ensuring that those people who are representing us are truly uh, understanding of what our, our situation is and, and kind of accommodate that.